In this video, I'd like to dis uh, discuss with you instructions on how to pay your rent online. So in the past, you had received an e a welcome email containing a link to access your online tenant portal. You'll need to make sure, and I assume you have already, set up your login credentials. Um, in this document here, I have provided a web link to your tenant portal, which I highly recommend you bookmark in your computer so you can always go back to it. I've also provided a web link for instructions on how to use the online portal for paying your rent. Now, here are a few uh, payment options. You'll have the option uh, when you set up your, your bank, you can configure a one-time payment, which means you'll each month you'll manu manually go in there and make a payment or you can set up monthly auto payments where it'll um, pull funds from your account automatically and pay your rent without you being involved every month, okay? Um, automatically, obviously. And here are some options, uh, payment options. You can choose an automatic bank transfer, which is also known as an ACH. This option is free. There's no charge for this at all. It'll pull funds from your checking account or your savings account, and it will not charge you a processing fee. The other option is to use your credit card or your debit card. Now, this option does have a 3% convenience and processing fee. Um, we don't charge this fee. This is the credit card vendor who charges this fee to you. So it's an important note, very important note. As per the lease, your rent is due on the first of the month and it's considered late if it's not paid by the fifth. Okay, so your lease describes applicable late fees and return check charges, also known as NSF charges, in the event that rent is not paid on time or if your payment was made but it doesn't clear the bank. Your lease will describe late payment fees and return check fees if that is the case. All right. Well, thank you. I hope that this explained the process. Have a great day.